going to discuss about the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis techniques that we are using in FM modulations or before performing FM modulation. So, we know that the noise has a greater effect on higher modulating frequencies or higher frequencies in general. So, the as the frequency is increasing, what will happen? The signals will get more prone to or more affected to noises. So, in order to, in order to avoid this effect of noise, we can perform the method or perform the operation called pre-emphasis. So here in pre-emphasis what we are actually doing is we are going to increase the amplitude of modulating signals at higher frequencies. That is when the modulating signal frequency is going higher we are going to increase the amplitude level of that particular range of higher frequency signals. Okay, This method is called pre-emphasis. So we can go for increasing the frequency deviation actually. So in order to increase the frequency deviation we can increase the amplitude of the modulating signal. So there will be a boost of amplitude of higher frequency modulating signals artificially and then it will be possible to improve the noise immunity that is when the frequency is increasing that particular range of signals or that higher frequency range will be increasing the amplitude okay amplitude is increased and the signal will be noise immune okay and this artificial boosting of higher modulating frequencies that is we are actually boosting higher frequency range or higher frequencies and it is called pre-emphasis okay so this boosting of higher modulating frequencies is called pre-emphasis and it is achieved with the help of a pre-emphasis circuit which is shown in figure. You can see that before FM modulator that is in, before performing FM modulation we are actually going to boost our higher frequencies with the help of a pre-emphasis circuit. So the pre-emphasis circuit if you have a closer look it is nothing but an RC circuit and this RC circuit will act as a high pass filter. Okay this is actually an RC filter. This RC circuit is actually an RC filter and it is it is going to act like a RC high pass filter which will be passing on higher frequencies. Okay and then we are going to place a FM modulator and we will get our FM output. So we are performing pre-emphasis before actually performing the FM modulation. If you go for a detailed diagram this is how the diagram is going to look like. You can see that there is a pre-emphasis circuit. To the pre-emphasis circuit we are going to give the modulating signal. Then the signal will pass on to the FM modulator. Then the rest is actually an FM modulation circuit. Okay. So the pre-emphasis we are doing before FM modulation. And as we have discussed this pre-emphasis circuit is basically a high pass filter. Okay. So the thing the most important thing that you should be knowing about pre-emphasis is it is the boosting of higher frequency signals before performing FM modulation. Now this boosting is actually an artificial thing right. The original signal is not boosted at those areas. So while recovering or demodulating the signal we have to perform the reverse operation also which is called de-emphasis. Okay so during the receiving or demodulating of the signal FM signal we will perform de-emphasis also okay so the de-emphasis is the reverse of pre-emphasis which is called the the reversing of or nullifying the effect of pre-emphasis okay so the artificial boosting given to the higher modulating frequencies in the process of pre-emphasis is nullified or compensated at the receiver by the process of de-emphasis okay so that's all about de-emphasis also okay so this questions that is pre-emphasis de-emphasis question can come as short questions or uh, short answer type of questions in your examination. So in this case you should be knowing what is actually the concept. It, the basic thing is that for higher frequency signals these higher frequencies are more, more noise prone or more affected to noises. So in order to avoid the effect of noise we are performing the pre-emphasis and the pre-emphasis is actually a artificial boosting. And in order to nullify that while recovering of original signal, we perform de-emphasis. Okay. So, 
that's all about pre-emphasis and de-emphasis okay so it is boosting and nullifying the effect of boosting so i'm really hoping that you understood the concept if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching